Many people associate fame and success with a glamorous lifestyle and endless happiness. However, for the accomplished actress Valerie Bertinelli, her journey has been marked by both triumphs in her career and personal struggles. Despite achieving great heights in Hollywood, she has faced more than her fair share of hardships in her private life. From challenging relationships to personal loss, Valerie's story serves as a reminder that even those who seem to have it all may still face significant adversity behind closed doors. Valerie Bertinelli comes from a distinguished background. Her father, Andrew Bertinelli, was the CEO of General Motors, and her mother, Nancy Carvin, was an English woman of great note. Valerie has three living siblings, David, Patrick, and Drew. Patrick and Drew. As a child, Valerie's family moved around a lot due to her father's demanding job. They lived in various places such as Claymont in Delaware, Clarkson in Michigan, Shreveport in Louisiana, and Oklahoma City before finally settling in the Los Feliz neighborhood in Los Angeles. Valerie's passion for acting began at an early age. She attended the Tammy Lynn School of Artists, where she honed her craft. Her talent and dedication to acting would eventually lead her to become a successful and well-respected actress in the industry. Valerie's background and upbringing played a significant role in shaping her as an individual and as an artist. Despite the challenges of moving around frequently, Valerie was able to find her passion and pursue it with determination and hard work. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of following one's dreams. In 1974, a young actress named Valerie Bertinelli began her career in the short-lived television series Apple's Way. Her impressive performance caught the attention of producer Norman Lear, who was so impressed that he asked her to join the cast of his show one day at a time the following year. At just 15 years old, Bertinelli took on the role of Barbara Cooper a character she would play for an impressive 2A out of 209 episodes. This classic sitcom, which aired from 1975 to 1984, followed the lives of a divorced mother and her two daughters. Bertinelli's character, Barbara, was the youngest of the two daughters and was known for her sweet and innocent personality. Throughout the show's run, viewers watched as Barbara grew from a teenager into a young woman, facing the challenges and triumphs that came with that transition. Bertinelli's performance in One Day at a Time was widely praised, and she quickly became a household name. Her portrayal of Barbara Cooper was both relatable and endearing, and she brought a sense of warmth and humor to the show. Even today, the actress is often remembered for her role in this classic sitcom, and it remains a beloved part of television history. Despite the success of One Day at a Time, Bertinelli continued to take on new roles and challenges in the world of acting. She went on to star in a number of films and television shows, solidifying her place as a talented and versatile actress. But it was her breakout role in One Day at a Time that first put her on the map, and it remains an important part of her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry. Valerie Bertinelli, an accomplished actress, found herself in the spotlight after her work on a popular television series that aired its final episode on May 28, 1984. The show had enjoyed a successful nine-year run, and Valerie's exceptional talent was recognized with two prestigious Golden Globe Awards for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout the series' run, Valerie's performance was nothing short of remarkable. She brought depth and nuance to her character, captivating audiences with her authenticity and charisma. Her ability to convey a range of emotions and connect with viewers was a testament to her skill as an actress. The Golden Globe Awards are a significant accolade in the entertainment industry, recognizing outstanding achievements in film and television. Valerie's back-to-back -back wins in this category were a true reflection of her talent and dedication to her craft. The awards not only solidified her status as a talented actress, but also brought her a wider recognition and acclaim. Valerie's contributions to this classic television series will always be cherished by fans. Her ability to bring her character to life and leave a lasting impact on audiences is a true testament to her talent and the legacy she has created in the world of entertainment. Even today, her work continues to resonate with viewers, inspiring new generations of actors and actresses to pursue their dreams. As the show came to a close, Valerie's accomplishments served as a reminder of the power of perseverance and dedication. Her success in the entertainment industry is a shining example of what can be achieved when one follows their passion and works tirelessly to perfect their craft. Valerie's story is a source of inspiration for aspiring actors and a reminder of the impact that a talented actress can have on the world. In the late 70s, actress Valerie Bertinelli won hearts playing Barbara Cooper Royer on the hit sitcom One Day at a Time. 
This classic show became one of the most successful in television history, airing from 1975 to 1984, and leaving a lasting impression on viewers. Its themes of family, resilience, and personal growth still resonate today. While working on the show, Valerie Bertinelli met musician Eddie Van Halen backstage at a concert. Their friendship blossomed into love, leading to their marriage in 1981. A few years later, they welcomed their son Wolfgang into the world in 1991, a joyous moment amidst their busy careers. The success of One Day at a Time provided a strong foundation for Bertinelli's flourishing career throughout the 80s. Her portrayal of Barbara Cooper earned her four Golden Globe nominations between 1981 and 1984. Despite being away from the set after marrying and having a child, Bertinelli remained relevant through various roles in made-for-TV movies and other television appearances. Eventually returning to episodic television, her work continued to delight audiences everywhere. Throughout these years, Bertinelli maintained her connection to music via her husband. As part of the iconic band Van Halen, Eddie brought hard rock to millions around the globe. While he pursued his musical endeavors, Bertinelli supported him wholeheartedly. They often attended each other's events when schedules allowed, showing solidarity in both professional and personal aspects of life. To this day, fans remember Valerie Bertinelli fondly for her role on One Day at a Time, which continues to influence modern storytelling. Meanwhile, Bertinelli herself has moved forward, embracing new challenges and opportunities while staying true to her roots. Whether gracing our screens or sharing stories about her journey, she remains a beloved figure who inspires many along the way. In 2005, something truly special happened for fans of the classic sitcom One Day at a Time. Valerie Bertinelli, along with her former co-stars Bonnie Franklin, Mackenzie Phillips, and Pat Harrington Jr., came together for a highly anticipated reunion special. This heartfelt gathering gave them the chance to reminisce about their time on the beloved show and share some fascinating stories from behind the scenes. The actresses openly discussed various aspects of working together, including the challenges they faced during production. While they were busy making people laugh each week, they also had to navigate through personal struggles and conflicts that occasionally arose between cast and crew members. During the reunion, they couldn't help but bring up the elephant in the room, Mackenzie Phillips's well-documented battle with drug addiction while filming the series. Her candid revelation about having a sexual relationship with her father shook both the industry and its viewers when she released her memoir in 29. However, in this earlier gathering, the focus was more on how her addiction impacted those around her on set. Despite these hardships, the cast remained close-knit and supportive of one another throughout the years. They fondly remembered the talented individuals who contributed to the success of One Day at a Time, sharing memories of both past and present cast members. As they delved deeper into their shared experiences, colorful anecdotes began to emerge about amusing mishaps and memorable moments that took place during filming. These captivating tales brought laughter and warmth to everyone involved, allowing them to relive some of the magic that made this television program so iconic. As the conversation flowed effortlessly among friends, it became clear just how much this show meant to all of them, even decades after its conclusion. Their genuine affection for one another shone through every story told, proving that despite the passage of time, certain bonds remain unbreakable. Fans will forever cherish this unique opportunity to witness four legendary entertainers coming together again to celebrate a piece of television history that continues to resonate today. After the hit show, the actress is also famously known for her role on the television series Hot in Cleveland, where she played the character Melanie Hope Beretti. The comedy series ran from 2010 to 2015, with a total of 128 episodes. Valerie Bertinelli's portrayal of Melanie Hope Beretti endeared her to audiences and solidified her status as a beloved actress in this classic. After wrapping up her successful TV show Hot in Cleveland in 2015, the actress Valerie Bertinelli made her debut on the Food Network with her own cooking show, Valerie's Home Cooking. This new venture allowed her to share her love for food and cooking with her fans. In addition to this, she began co-hosting the Kids Baking Championship alongside Duff Goldman. The premiere of Valerie's Home Cooking was met with positive reviews and quickly became a fan favorite. The show offered viewers a glimpse into the actress's kitchen as she prepared delicious meals for her family and friends. Her warm personality and down-to-earth approach to cooking resonated with audiences, making the show a hit. The success of Valerie's home cooking did not go unnoticed by the awards circuit. In fact, the show won the actress two Daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Culinary Host, 
an outstanding culinary program. These accolades were a testament to Valerie Bertinelli's talent, both in front of the camera and behind the stove. Despite these achievements, the actress remained humble and dedicated to sharing her passion for cooking with others. She continued to appear on the Food Network, offering tips, tricks, and recipes for viewers to try at home. Through her shows, Valerie Bertinelli has inspired countless individuals to explore their own love for cooking and entertaining. In 2015, the actress Valerie Bertinelli launched Valerie's Home Cooking, a cooking show that would run until 2023. During this time, she took on additional hosting roles for shows like Family Restaurant Rivals and Family Food Showdown. While Bertinelli was thriving professionally, her personal journey had its own set of challenges. These hurdles were documented through her involvement with the Jenny Craig Diet Program. Having first partnered with Jenny Craig back in 2007, Bertinelli became more than just a participant in their weight loss initiatives. She became a spokesperson for the brand. Her dedication led to numerous appearances in advertising campaigns aimed at promoting healthier lifestyle choices. Through her public disclosures and collaborative efforts with Jenny Craig, viewers gained insight into her personal struggles and triumphs related to maintaining a balanced diet and overall well-being. Valerie Bertinelli's personal journey with weight loss became public in 2008 when she published her book, Losing It and Gaining My Life Back One Pound at a Time. In this candid account, the actress shared her experiences on a diet, detailing the ups and downs she faced. The book provided a glimpse into her motivations and the reasons behind her deep involvement in weight loss advocacy. The following year, Bertinelli released a sequel, Finding It, and Fulfilling My Hunger for Life Without Opening the Fridge. This book explored what came next after losing weight. She tried to answer the big questions about maintaining weight loss and how to navigate the challenges that come with it. Bertinelli's books offer practical advice and personal anecdotes, making them relatable to anyone who has struggled with weight loss. Through her writing, she hopes to inspire and motivate others to take control of their health and well-being. The actress's involvement in weight loss advocacy is a testament to her commitment to helping others. By sharing her own experiences, she provides a roadmap for those looking to make positive changes in their lives. Whether you're just starting your weight loss journey or looking for ways to maintain your progress, Bertinelli's books are a valuable resource. Valerie Bertinelli's struggles with her weight can be traced back to her challenging upbringing. Just eight months before her birth, her family experienced a heartbreaking tragedy when her brother Mark passed away at the young age of 17 months due to accidental poisoning. During a friendly visit to a neighbor's farm, little Mark managed to wander off unnoticed and stumbled upon a seemingly harmless soda pop bottle. Unbeknownst to him, its contents were lethal, leaving the Burton Elliott family devastated by his untimely demise. The impact of losing her elder brother so soon after conception deeply affected Valerie's mother, Nancy. In fact, it has been suggested that Nancy might have suffered from postpartum depression after giving birth to Valerie, contributing to an environment where food became a source of comfort. As a result, Valerie grew up in a household where dealing with grief sometimes led to overeating, setting the stage for her own future battles with weight management. Despite these obstacles, Valerie went on to become a successful actress, best known for her roles in One Day at a Time, and later in Hot in Cleveland. Her career resonates as a testament to perseverance through life's adversities. Nonetheless, the memory of her late brother continues to influence Valerie's story even today. Valerie Bertinelli, the first female child in her family, was born amid sadness and grief. Her birth was supposed to be a joyous occasion, but it was overshadowed by her mother's grief over the loss of her son, who had passed away just a few days before Valerie's arrival. This tragic event had a profound impact on Valerie's early life, and she only learned about the circumstances surrounding her birth when she was a teenager. The guilt and sadness that her mother felt after the loss of her son had a ripple effect on Valerie's childhood. She has spoken in interviews about how her mother was still grieving when she was born and how this affected their relationship. Valerie's birth was a bittersweet moment, full of joy but also tinged with sadness and loss. Despite the challenging circumstances of her birth, Valerie went on to become a successful actress, known for her roles in popular TV shows like One Day at a Time and Hot in Cleveland. However, the impact of her brother's death continued to shape her life in profound ways and she has spoken openly about the importance of addressing grief and loss in order to move forward in life. Valerie's story is a reminder of the enduring impact that our early experiences can have on our lives. 
Even in the face of tragedy and loss, she was able to find success and happiness. But the memory of her brother's death continued to shape her perspective and outlook. Her experience serves as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of facing our challenges head on. Valerie Bertinelli has been open about how she learned to bottle up her emotions from her parents. She didn't realize the extent of their pain until she had her own child. By then, she had already adopted their tendency to keep her feelings hidden. As she put it, she wanted to make everyone else happy, sometimes at her own expense. This pattern proved toxic over the years and eventually led her down a dangerous path. The actress turned to unhealthy habits like excessive drinking and eating as a way to cope. In fact, during the 1990s, she struggled with substance abuse so severe that she wrote about it in her 28 autobiography. Her battle with addiction was just one of many challenges she faced throughout her life. Despite everything she went through, Valerie continues to inspire others with her resilience and honesty about her experiences. It's clear that Valerie's childhood experiences shaped who she became as an adult lieutenant like her parents before her. She often kept her true feelings locked away inside. But unlike them, she managed to break free from this destructive cycle and confront her demons head on. Through hard work and determination, she transformed herself into a stronger, healthier person, both physically and emotionally. Valerie Bertinelli's marriage to Eddie Van Halen was another source of struggle for the actress. In 1980, while attending one of his concerts in Louisiana during his band's invasion tour, she had the chance encounter with the legendary guitarist backstage. There was an undeniable connection between them, leading to Eddie proposing just four months later. A year into their relationship, the couple decided to get married, making Valerie a 20-year-old bride. Being one of America's favorite TV stars at the time, her sudden marriage came as a shock to many fans who adored her. However, it brought comfort to know that she had found happiness with someone who complimented her so perfectly. Indeed, the pair seemed destined for each other, often stealing the spotlight together. Valerie Bertinelli's marriage to Eddie Van Halen was far from the harmonious union that the public perceived. In her 28 autobiography, the actress exposed the stormy reality behind closed doors. The marriage was fraught with allegations of adultery, disunity, excessive drinking, and substance use. During this tumultuous time, Valerie struggled to maintain a healthy work-life balance. She had to put on a sweet and innocent persona as Barbara Cooper on the popular show One Day at a Time, while also acting as a hard-partying rock star's wife at home. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, promoting her memoir, Valerie admitted to feeling wrecked from trying to keep up with Eddie during her time off work. It was only after overcoming her own substance use habits that Valerie began to enjoy the little things in life again. However, it irked her that Eddie was not yet ready to conquer his cocaine addiction, which was one of the reasons for their eventual separation. Valerie's story is a reminder that even seemingly perfect unions can hide stormy realities. Her courage to share her experiences publicly serves as an inspiration for others facing similar challenges. Valerie Bertinelli, the actress known for her role in the classic sitcom One Day at a Time, faced significant challenges in her marriage to Eddie Van Halen. In 2000, Eddie was diagnosed with tongue cancer and underwent treatment, which included the loss of a third of his tongue. However, despite the diagnosis, he continued to smoke, putting his health at further risk. But the couple's struggles were not limited to Eddie's substance abuse. Both Valerie and Eddie engaged in extramarital relations, which added to the strain in their relationship. They tried to work through their issues in therapy, but unfortunately, they were unsuccessful in reconciling their differences. Valerie has been open about the difficulties she faced in her marriage, stating that the challenges they faced were not easy to overcome. Despite their best efforts, they were unable to maintain their relationship and ultimately went their separate ways. The story of Valerie Bertinelli's marriage is a reminder of the struggles that many couples face and the challenges that can arise when substance abuse and infidelity are present in a relationship. Despite the challenges she faced, Valerie has continued to work in the entertainment industry and remains a beloved figure among fans. Valerie Bertinelli and her husband, Eddie Van Halen, were overjoyed when they welcomed their only child, Wolfgang, in 1991. The couple hoped that the birth of their son would bring them closer together and strengthen their relationship. However, despite their best efforts, the strain in their marriage persisted. For two decades, the actress and the rock star tried to make their relationship work, but it became clear that things were not improving. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Valerie revealed that the tragic events of 9-11 made them realize how short 
and unpredictable life can be. This awareness prompted them to reevaluate their priorities and make the difficult decision to separate. Valerie and Eddie's marriage officially ended in 2007, six years after their separation. The actress later shared that their split was a long time coming and that they had been aware of their issues for a while. The couple's focus on their son, Wolfgang, remained a priority throughout their separation and divorce, and they worked together to co-parent him effectively. Valerie's career continued to thrive after her divorce, and she remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. She starred in several successful TV shows and movies, including Hot in Cleveland and Cafe American. Her personal life also saw new beginnings as she found love again and remarried in 2011. Throughout her journey, Valerie Bertinelli has remained a strong and resilient figure, inspiring many with her honesty and vulnerability. Her story serves as a reminder that sometimes even the strongest relationships can come to an end, and that it's essential to prioritize one's happiness and well-being above all else. Valerie Bertinelli, known for her roles in popular TV shows, found herself at a crossroads in her personal life. Despite her tendency to stay in relationships for the sake of others, she made a bold decision regarding her marriage with Eddie Van Halen. Valerie's son played a significant role in her decision to end the marriage. She wanted him to grow up in a stable and loving family environment, which she felt was no longer possible in her relationship with Eddie. The actress also acknowledged that the love between her and Eddie had faded. She expressed that they were not treating each other as they would in a loving relationship. This realization further solidified her decision to part ways. In essence, Valerie's choice to divorce was influenced by her desire for a stable home life for her son and the waning romantic connection with her husband. Valerie Bertinelli has been open about her past struggles with divorce and the impact it had on her life. The actress, who was married to Eddie Van Halen for over two decades, revealed that the divorce was a challenging time for her. She has described some of those days as the worst of her life. During this difficult period, Bertinelli found solace in food, turning to it as a way to cope with her emotions. This habit of eating her feelings, as she put it, was a pattern she had been developing over the years. However, she eventually managed to work through her problems and emerge stronger. Despite the hardships of their divorce, Bertinelli and her ex-husband remained close friends, co-parenting their son Wolfgang. The actress has spoken about the importance of maintaining a good relationship with her former spouse for the sake of their child. Throughout her career, Valerie Bertinelli has been known for her work in various films and shows, including One Day at a Time and Touched by an Angel. However, her personal struggles with divorce and emotional eating have also become a significant part of her public persona. By sharing her experiences, she has provided a relatable and inspiring example of resilience and strength in the face of adversity. Valerie Bertinelli, the actress known for her role in the classic sitcom, One Day at a Time, appeared to have found love again in 2011. After a six-year relationship with Tom Vitale, she decided to take the next step and remarry. However, after a decade together, the couple faced challenges that led to their separation. In 2021, Valerie filed for divorce from Tom on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. Despite the unfortunate turn of events, Valerie remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, with her work continuing to resonate with audiences young and old. In 2020, the news broke out that Valerie Bertinelli and her husband Tom Vitale decided to part ways after almost seven years of marriage. However, it was later disclosed that the couple had actually been living separately since 2019 due to certain irreconcilable differences. These issues remained undisclosed to the public, leaving room for various speculations among fans and media personnel alike. Despite the lack of clarity regarding their split, both parties involved have chosen to remain respectful towards each other during this challenging time. Valerie Bertinelli has always been known for her positivity, and she continues to focus on her career as an actress while cherishing every moment spent with her loved ones. As one of America's favorite TV stars, many look forward to seeing what lies ahead for this talented actress who has left an indelible mark in the entertainment industry through her memorable roles across multiple shows and films throughout her illustrious career spanning over four decades. Valerie Bertinelli, the actress known for her roles in One Day at a Time and Touched by an Angel, went through a highly publicized divorce trial with her ex-husband, Tom Vitale. The trial brought to light the issue of money, with Tom demanding spousal support of $50,000 per month and legal fees of $200,000 from Valerie. This demand was surprising, given their prenuptial agreement, 
which explicitly stated that there would be no spousal support provided in case of a divorce. Despite the prenuptial agreement, the divorce trial ended with Valerie paying Tom $2 million. In a show of relief, she expressed that finalizing their divorce was the second best day of her life after the birth of her son. The rumors about financial problems during the divorce were indirectly confirmed through the demands made during the trial. Valerie, however, emerged victorious, putting the ordeal behind her and moving forward with her life. Transitioning seamlessly into the story, we find ourselves with the actress, Valerie Bertinelli, who, despite her many accolades and memorable roles, had faced a significant turning point in 2023. This year brought to light a private struggle, one that many people can relate to, the letting go of bad memories. After tying the knot with Tom, she found herself grappling with the aftermath of a challenging marriage, which had taken a toll on her self-esteem. The weight of her feelings of worthlessness became too much to bear, compelling her to seek therapy. In the aftermath of this personal journey, a symbolic gesture echoed the need for closure. She decided to part ways with tangible reminders of her past, selling off items that held deep connections, her wedding bands, serving as a potent symbol of commitment, and her wedding heels, which had witnessed the emotional highs and lows. By doing so, she embraced the healing power of letting go, acknowledging that sometimes, to move forward, we must let go of what once held us back. These actions were not a reflection of her acting prowess or the iconic roles that had etched her name in the hearts of fans. Instead, they were a testament to the resilience she showed in the face of adversity, teaching us all that even the most successful individuals may need to shed parts of their past to make way for a brighter future. As she took this step, it served as a reminder to everyone that healing is a process, and no one's journey is without its ups and downs. In the world of entertainment, where the public eye can magnify both triumphs and tribulations, Bertinelli's story resonates with those who have faced similar struggles. It's a powerful story, not about the end of her marriage, but about the strength it took to redefine her narrative and find her way back to the radiant light after a stormy period. And so, as time passed, the actress continued to captivate audiences with her talent, proving that, like a tapestry woven with threads of resilience, she could create a new, her memory firmly marked in the hearts of fans and viewers, a testament to the power of transformation and personal growth. Valerie Bertinelli's career encountered a setback in 2016 when she missed out on a significant opportunity. The popular streaming service, Netflix, announced that they would be rebooting the series one day at a time, a show that the actress, as well as fans, were eagerly anticipating. Valerie herself had expressed her excitement and admiration for the pop TV revival, revealing that she had been thoroughly engrossed in it. Unfortunately, due to her commitments to her cooking show and other Food Network obligations, Valerie was unable to join the reboot's cast. She reportedly had barely any time to take on additional projects, and starring in the reboot was not a decision she wanted to make lightly. As a result, when the opportunity presented itself, she had to pass on it, as she was not fully prepared. Valerie's last acting job had been five years prior, making it difficult for her to jump back into acting without proper preparation. Despite this setback, the actress remained committed to her cooking show and Food Network obligations, leaving little room for other projects. In the end, Valerie Bertinelli's focus on her cooking show and Food Network duties prevented her from joining the reboot of One Day at a Time. While this was undoubtedly a disappointment for both the actress and her fans, she remained dedicated to her existing commitments. Valerie Bertinelli had expressed great interest in becoming more involved in the recent remake of the show that brought her fame. She hoped to fully immerse herself in the project and contribute to its success. Unfortunately, due to her packed schedule, she was unable to participate in the reboot like she had originally planned. Despite her absence from the production, the actress still took the time to support the new cast by watching the revival and sharing her praises publicly. As a fan favorite, many were excited to see what she would bring to the table in the updated version of this classic series. However, even though she couldn't join the new cast, Fans were grateful that they could still count on her to show appreciation for the reboot. Her positive feedback served as a nod to the timeless appeal of the original show, while also acknowledging the fresh take presented in the remake. Throughout her career, Valerie Bertinelli has left an indelible mark in the entertainment industry. While it was unfortunate that she couldn't join the new cast, her enthusiasm for the reboot highlights the impact that this beloved series continues to have on both audiences and those who brought the story to life. Ultimately, her inability to participate may have been a missed opportunity, 
but her endorsement helped maintain the connection between past and present iterations of the Cherish program. In October of 2020, the world received the sad news that Eddie Van Halen, husband to the actress Valerie Bertinelli, had lost his battle with cancer. He died at the age of 65, leaving behind a legacy of musical talent and a grieving family. Eddie was first diagnosed with tongue cancer in 2000, a devastating blow that would change his life forever. The treatment cost him a third of his tongue, but he was declared cancer-free in 2002. Despite this, he continued to face health issues in the years that followed. In 2009, Eddie married Janie Lisiski, a former adult film publicist who became his exclusive publicist before the marriage. However, his health issues persisted, and he began frequenting the hospital for various ailments. In 2012, Eddie was diagnosed with diverticulitis and had emergency surgery. Then, in 2014, he faced another battle with throat cancer. His health continued to decline, and in 2019, he was hospitalized due to the spread of cancer to his lungs and the development of a tumor in his brain. These health issues caused a lot of pain and difficulty in the rock star's last years. Despite this, he was surrounded by his loved ones, including his ex-wife Valerie Bertinelli, his current wife Janie Lisiski, his brother, and his only child. Valerie Bertinelli, who was married to Eddie from 1981 to 2007, remained a constant presence in his life, even after their divorce. She was by his side during his final moments, a testament to the enduring bond they shared. Eddie Van Halen's death was a loss felt by fans and loved ones alike. His talent and contributions to the world of music will be remembered for years to come. Meanwhile, Valerie Bertinelli continues to act and inspire, carrying on with her life and career in the wake of this tragedy. Valerie Bertinelli, the actress who won our hearts as Barbara Cooper Royer on the classic sitcom One Day at a Time, recently paid a heartfelt tribute to her ex-husband, Eddie Van Halen. The pair, who were married for 26 years before divorcing in 27, shared a unique bond that transcended the typical definitions of love and friendship. In her Instagram post, Valerie spoke of how her life changed forever when she met Eddie 40 years ago. She referred to him as her soulmate and expressed her gratitude for the one true light he brought into her life. Their son, Wolfgang, through Eddie's challenging battles with lung cancer, Valerie stood by him, supporting him emotionally and physically. She marveled at his ability to keep his gorgeous spirit and impish grin even during the most difficult times. Valerie's tribute was a testament to the peculiar kind of love they shared, one that endured despite their divorce. She spoke of being grateful that she and Wolfgang were able to hold Eddie in his final moments, and she expressed her belief that she would see him in their next life. Her words were a poignant reminder of the deep bond they shared, one that will never be forgotten. Through her tribute, Valerie showed us all what it means to love someone deeply, to support them through their darkest days, and to cherish the memories you share, even after they're gone. Her words will resonate with anyone who has ever experienced the pain of loss, and they serve as a reminder of the enduring power of love. Valerie Bertinelli, the actress known for her role in the classic sitcom One Day at a Time, recently faced public backlash after sharing a message on social media. The message, which was posted shortly after the death of her ex-husband, Eddie Van Halen, did not sit well with many people. The actress was accused of being insensitive to Eddie's current wife and of taking advantage of the sad event of his passing to benefit herself. The backlash was swift and severe, with many people leaving hateful comments on her social media pages. Despite the criticism, Valerie has not responded or addressed the backlash directly. It is unclear if she will address the situation in the future. The actress has been open about her relationship with Eddie in the past, often sharing stories and memories of their time together. However, the recent message she shared seemed to strike a nerve with many people, leading to the public backlash. It is important to remember that social media can often be a breeding ground for negativity and hate, and it is crucial to be mindful of the words and messages we share. While Valerie may have had good intentions with her message, it is clear that it was not well received by everyone. Moving forward, it is hoped that the actress can find a way to move past this situation and continue to share her memories and stories with her fans. Despite the backlash, Valerie has a long and successful career in the entertainment industry, and she will undoubtedly continue to be a beloved figure in the world of television and film. In 2021, Valerie Bertinelli opened up about grappling with grief during an interview. The actress, who had been friends with her late husband for over 40 years, felt it necessary to discuss the subject despite its sensitive nature. 
After all, her former spouse played a significant role in her life, he was the father of her child, and responsible for one of the most precious gifts she had ever received, her son. This heartfelt revelation quickly gained traction online, garnering widespread attention. However, amidst the outpouring of support, some negative comments still managed to surface. Despite being hurt by these harsh reactions, Valerie chose to focus on the positive aspects of her relationship with her ex-husband, emphasizing their deep friendship and shared love for their child. Having known each other for decades, they built a strong bond that transcended romantic ties. Their connection remained unbroken, even after deciding to part ways amicably. Through it all, Valerie continued to hold on to cherished memories while navigating through the grieving process. As time passed, she learned how to balance commemorating their past togetherness and embracing her future independently. Valerie Bertinelli's son, Wolfgang Van Halen, stepped up to defend his mother when a debate about her life and career spiraled out of control. The hateful comments directed towards the actress were hard for Wolfgang to bear, and he chose to speak up using strong words. Wolfgang expressed his disbelief at the commenter's inability to comprehend the depth of love between his parents. He emphasized that the unique dynamics of their relationship were beyond the understanding of outsiders, and therefore, they had no right to judge or criticize his mother. Valerie Bertinelli, a beloved actress, has been in the public eye for decades. Her career has spanned various genres, from sitcoms to dramas, and she has won the hearts of many fans. However, even the most devoted fans may not fully understand the complexities of her personal life. Wolfgang's defense of his mother highlights the importance of empathy and understanding in public discourse. It's easy to forget that celebrities are real people with real families and emotions. While it's natural to have opinions about public figures, it's crucial to remember that our words have an impact. In the end, Wolfgang's message was clear. The love between his parents was special, and it's not for anyone else to judge. By speaking up, he reminded us all to be kinder and more understanding, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Valerie Bertinelli, who gained fame in the 70s for her role in the popular series One Day at a Time, found herself facing harsh criticism on the internet regarding her appearance. This came after the actress had previously opened up about her struggles with emotional eating and weight gain. The criticism was especially hard for Bertinelli to take, as she had already been grieving the loss of her ex-husband, Eddie Van Halen. The negative comments added insult to injury, causing the actress to break down in tears in an Instagram video. In the video, she spoke candidly about how hurtful and unhelpful the criticism was. In the accompanying caption, Bertinelli expressed her wish for more kindness and patience in the world. She pointed out that people never truly know what others are going through, emphasizing the importance of extending grace and understanding to one another. For many fans of the actress, the criticism directed towards Bertinelli brought back memories of the body-shaming culture that dominated much of the 80s and 90s. At the time, it wasn't uncommon for female celebrities to face intense scrutiny over their bodies and appearances. Unfortunately, despite progress made in recent years, online harassment remains a pervasive issue in today's society. As for Bertinelli, she continues to inspire her followers by sharing her journey towards self-acceptance and embracing her true self. By speaking out against online bullying, she hopes to raise awareness around the impact of thoughtless words and promote positivity both online and offline. Valerie Bertinelli's son, Wolfgang, left a heartwarming comment on one of her videos, telling her that she was beautiful just as she was. The actress was touched by her son's kind words and appreciated the support from her fans. Another celebrity who showed her love for Valerie was Demi Lovato, who commented, I love you. You already made it clear you are sufficient. I empathize with the difficulty you encountered. I'm always here for you. Valerie expressed her gratitude for the kind words from her followers in an Instagram story. She said, Thanks to everyone's generosity, I no longer feel so alone. The actress has been open about her struggles and has received an outpouring of support from her fans and fellow celebrities. Valerie Bertinelli has been a beloved actress for decades and her fans have been with her every step of the way. Her roles in hit shows like One Day at a Time and Hot in Cleveland have endeared her to audiences of all ages. Her vulnerability and honesty in sharing her struggles have only made her more relatable and beloved. It's clear that Valerie's fans and fellow celebrities are there for her, offering support and love in her time of need. Their kind words and encouragement are a testament to the impact that Valerie has had on their lives. Whether through her acting or her advocacy, Valerie has touched the hearts of many and her fans are grateful for her.
In her second memoir, entitled Enough Already Learning to Love the Way I Am Today, published in 2022, the actress Valerie Bertinelli shares the transformative experience of saying goodbye to her late husband, Eddie Van Halen. This follow-up to her previous memoir delves into her emotional journey of coping with loss, reflecting on their relationship, and revealing details of their final interactions. Throughout the memoir, the actress expresses her deep love for Eddie, stating, I loved it more than I know how to explain. I loved his soul. She recounts a touching memory when Eddie visited her during Thanksgiving and brought her a thoughtful gift while speaking candidly with her. At this time, Eddie acknowledged his mistakes and apologized for their failed marriage. Valerie responded by admitting her own shortcomings, leading them both to find closure through mutual forgiveness. Regrettably, Eddie passed away just months later. One poignant moment in the memoir reveals the pair's final conversation before parting ways. Through these heartfelt exchanges, readers gain insight into the depth of their bond. Furthermore, Valerie clarifies the nature of her feelings towards Eddie, emphasizing that it transcended physical intimacy following their separation. Instead, she cherishes the paternal connection she shared with him, being the mother of his child. As the pages unfold, fans will appreciate Valerie's raw vulnerability, providing intimate glimpses into her life with Eddie and beyond. Her story offers valuable lessons on self-love, healing, and embracing change, even amidst grief. By sharing her experiences so openly, she hopes others can learn to navigate challenging times in their lives too. After Valerie Bertinelli's divorce from Tom, she claimed to be living her best life and was delighted with the divorce. However, her habits told a different story. It was already common knowledge that Valerie turned to food when there was any discomfort in her life to cope with her problems. So, unsurprisingly, after losing Eddie and getting a divorce from Tom, she once again took solace in food. Valerie's unhealthy coping mechanisms were not a new development. The actress had struggled with her weight for many years, and she had been open about her struggles in the past. In interviews, she had discussed how she would turn to food for comfort and how she had to work hard to maintain a healthy lifestyle. But after her divorce, Valerie's unhealthy coping mechanisms became more pronounced. She began to gain weight, and she struggled to get back on track. In spite of her best efforts, she found herself slipping back into old habits, turning to food for comfort and solace. Valerie's struggle with her weight and her unhealthy coping mechanisms was a private one, but it was also a public one. The actress was a role model for many people, and her struggles with her weight were well documented in the media. As a result, her struggles became a source of concern for her fans and followers. Despite her struggles, Valerie remained determined to overcome her unhealthy coping mechanisms and to live a healthy, happy life. She knew that she needed to make a change, and she was willing to do whatever it took to get back on track. With the support of her friends and family, she began to make positive changes in her life, and she started to see results. Valerie's story is a reminder that unhealthy coping mechanisms can be a serious problem and that they can have a negative impact on our lives. But it is also a story of hope and resilience and a reminder that with hard work and determination, we can overcome our challenges and live the lives we want to live. In a recent television appearance, Valerie Bertinelli opened up about her lifelong struggle with weight and how it relates to her emotional well-being. She acknowledged that the extra weight she currently carries serves as a protective barrier for her until she can focus on improving her internal and emotional health. This candid revelation highlights a significant aspect of the actress's journey that has been marked by fluctuations in her weight and self-image. Since her youth and rise to fame in show business, Valerie Bertinelli has grappled with maintaining a healthy relationship with her body and weight. Her memoir Enough Already Learning to Love the Way I Am Today delves into this topic, revealing the connection between her weight and her ability to accept affection. According to the actress, her struggles with weight were deeply rooted in her mental health, which she wishes she had addressed more proactively during her tenure as a Jenny Craig ambassador. At that time, she managed to shed 50 pounds through dedication and effort, but admits that neglecting her mental health hindered her overall progress. Despite achieving success in managing her weight temporarily, Valerie Bertinelli recognizes that her mental health needed equal attention. As she continues her personal growth journey, she emphasizes the importance of addressing both physical and emotional aspects of one's well-being to foster lasting change and improve self-perception. Valerie Bertinelli has been open about her struggles with weight and self-acceptance. The root of her weight issues, as she has shared, can be traced back to her drinking and unhealthy eating habits. 
These habits were coping mechanisms that she developed earlier in life, stemming from her trouble accepting herself. Valerie has revealed that she spent many decades believing that she needed to look a certain way to be accepted and liked by others. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her life, Valerie found herself dealing with more bad news. She turned to food and alcohol as a way to cope with the pressures and expectations placed upon her. This vicious cycle of unhealthy habits and negative self-perception took a toll on her physical and emotional well-being. Valerie's story is a reminder that self-acceptance and self-care are crucial for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. By addressing the root causes of her weight issues, Valerie has taken important steps towards improving her overall health and well-being. Her journey serves as an inspiration for others who may be struggling with similar challenges. Valerie Bertinelli, a beloved actress, experienced a profound loss with the passing of her dear friend and confidant, Betty White. On December 31, 2021, the world mourned the loss of Betty White. But Valerie felt the loss more deeply than most. The two had worked together on the television comedy Hot in Cleveland throughout its six seasons, growing exceptionally close on set and maintaining their friendship long after the sitcom ended in June 2015. In the wake of Betty's passing, Valerie joined followers and fans in mourning her friend on social media. She posted a heartfelt tribute, rest in peace, sweet Betty, how dazzling paradise must be at this moment. The bond between the two actresses was undeniable, and Valerie's loss was deeply personal. Valerie and Betty's friendship blossomed on the set of Hot in Cleveland, where they played best friends and neighbors. Their chemistry was undeniable, and their friendship extended beyond the camera. The two would often be seen laughing and joking between takes, and their bond was palpable. Even after the show ended, Valerie and Betty remained close. They would often meet for lunch or attend events together. Betty was a mentor and confidant to Valerie, offering advice and support throughout their friendship. Valerie often spoke of Betty's kindness, wit, and intelligence, admiring her for her long and successful career in Hollywood. The loss of Betty White left a void in Valerie's life, but she took comfort in the memories they shared and the love they had for each other. Valerie's tribute to Betty was a testament to their friendship and a reminder of the impact Betty had on those around her. As the world mourned the loss of Betty White, Valerie grieved the loss of a dear friend. Their friendship was a bright spot in both of their lives and their bond was unbreakable. Valerie will always cherish the memories she shared with Betty and the lessons she learned from her friend. Rest in peace, sweet Betty. Valerie Bertinelli, an actress known for her work in the classic sitcom One Day at a Time, recently opened up about her grief for her late co-star, Betty White. In an interview held a month after White's passing, Bertinelli expressed her deep admiration for White's compassionate nature. She mentioned that being kind came naturally to White, and she had an uncanny ability to make those around her feel special. Bertinelli also shared her joy over the fact that White had reconciled with her late husband, Alan Ludden, before his death. White and Ludden were married for nearly 20 years before his passing in 1981, and White never remarried. Bertinelli said she was thrilled that White had found peace with her late husband, stating, I'm so happy for her because I know she's with Alan. I know she's with all the animals that went before her. I know she is in literal heaven. She absolutely is. The actress's heartfelt words served as a touching tribute to her friend and co-star, highlighting White's kindness, compassion, and enduring love for her late husband. Bertinelli's interview underscored the deep bond that the two actresses shared, both on and off screen. In a recent interview, actress Valerie Bertinelli shared how she finds inspiration and motivation to stay positive in life. This mindset shift came after drawing inspiration from her friend Betty. After facing her own set of personal battles, Valerie chose to become an advocator against body shaming through her posts on Instagram and other social media platforms. However, the reaction from the public wasn't what she anticipated. Critics harshly judged her and fellow celebrities who joined the conversation, accusing them of being part of the problematic culture they aimed to combat. Despite the backlash, Valerie remained steadfast in her mission to promote self-love and acceptance. Valerie Bertinelli, known for her acting roles and as a Jenny Craig ambassador, faced accusations of hypocrisy. For years, she promoted the idea of women having perfect bodies as a cover girl for People magazine and as a spokesperson for Jenny Craig. However, some critics argue that her message was harmful and promoted a toxic culture around weight loss. In her memoirs, Valerie discussed her own weight loss journey, but some readers felt that the books had an undertone of prompting women to feel less than if they were not doing enough to lose weight. 
Valerie herself seemed to allude to this in a passage from her memoir, Enough Already Learning to Love the Way I Am Today. She revealed that, at the time she accepted the position as an ambassador for Jenny Craig, she hadn't been trying to get healthy or deal with her reasons for weight loss. She simply wanted to get rid of the weight. This revelation led some to question the authenticity of her message as a spokesperson for weight loss. Despite her personal journey, some felt that her promotion of quick fixes and perfect bodies contributed to the harmful societal pressures around weight loss. Valerie's story highlights the complex and often contradictory nature of public figures who promote weight loss. While they may have their own personal struggles and journeys, their message can still contribute to harmful societal standards and expectations. It's important for public figures to consider the impact of their message and to promote healthy and sustainable weight loss practices. Valerie Bertinelli's financial situation took a turn after her divorce from Eddie Van Halen. She made the decision not to take any money from him, which meant she had to provide for herself and her son as a single mother. This is what led her to accept the offer to become a spokesperson for Jenny Craig. It wasn't so much a focus on the impact she could have on diet culture, but rather a good job opportunity for the actress. In her journey with Jenny Craig, Valerie revealed that she had been starving herself and working out excessively in order to lose weight. She felt guilty about promoting the idea that losing weight was easy and didn't require much effort. Valerie had fallen into the same trap herself, neglecting her mental and emotional health in the process, which were actually the root causes of her weight gain. Valerie's experience highlights the importance of addressing the underlying issues behind weight gain, rather than just focusing on the physical aspect of losing weight. It's a reminder that taking care of one's mental and emotional health is just as important as taking care of their physical health. In April of 2023, Valerie Bertinelli shared some sad news with her fans on Instagram, the 14th season of her beloved cooking show. Valerie's home cooking would be its last. She raised a glass and a heartfelt toast to say goodbye to the series, revealing that it had actually been canceled the previous summer. Despite pulling in respectable ratings and the actress's long-standing role as host, the network declined to reverse their decision. For Valerie, hosting Valerie's home cooking was more than just a job. It was a cherished dream come true. With palpable enthusiasm, she embraced every aspect of creating and sharing delicious recipes with her viewers. As she bid the show farewell, she expressed optimism for what lay ahead, eagerly anticipating exciting opportunities beyond the kitchen. In the eighth season of Hot in Cleveland, the actress Valerie Bertinelli welcomed some special guests to the show. She was joined by her co-stars Betty White, Hoda Kotb, and Mackenzie Phillips. According to Bertinelli, hosting these celebrities was a highlight of the series for her. Creating the show with them brought her joy, and she made sure to put her heart into every episode they worked on together. This star-studded lineup added even more excitement to an already popular show, making it a must-watch for fans of both Hot and Cleveland and the talented guest stars. Recently, on the 19th of April 2024, the now-canceled show was nominated for Outstanding Culinary Host in the Daytime Emmy Awards. The actress was apparently surprised and left speechless by the nomination. Fans were super shocked when they found out. In early 2024, Valerie Bertinelli shared some disappointing news with her fans through her social media platforms. She revealed that Food Network had decided to drop her from Kids Baking Championship, a popular cooking competition show she had been hosting since 2015 alongside cake artist Duff Goldman. According to Bertinelli, the network made this decision due to budget cuts, leaving her feelings genuinely hurt. The actress mentioned that she first suspected something might be amiss when she noticed that she hadn't been included in the program's recent holiday specials. However, she didn't expect to be entirely removed from the series, admitting that even though she understood it was purely a business decision based on finances, it still stung emotionally. Despite being taken aback, Bertinelli remained gracious and expressed gratitude for having been part of the show over the years. As a seasoned television personality, Valerie Bertinelli has learned to navigate both the joys and challenges of working in Hollywood. Throughout her career, she has demonstrated resilience and adaptability while focusing on delivering quality performances and content. Although saddened by her departure from Kids Baking Championship, Bertinelli undoubtedly continues to look forward to future opportunities where she can share her talents and passion with audiences worldwide. Valerie Bertinelli has made it clear that she holds no grudges against anyone at the Food Network, as she cherished the time she spent working with many of them. Despite facing challenges in her personal life, 
particularly in the realm of relationships, the actress has decided to give love another chance. Valerie recently confirmed that she is in a new relationship, which she finds both exciting and unfamiliar. She admitted that she had never experienced anything like it before, having previously stated that she was content with being single and focusing on her pets. However, she met someone unexpectedly, and she is grateful for the opportunity to get to know him better. Valerie met her new partner on Instagram a few years ago when she followed an East Coast writer. She was delighted when their platonic relationship blossomed into something more. The actress believes that working on her inner demons has made it easier for her to open up and embrace this new relationship. Valerie has spoken highly of her new partner, revealing that he is younger than her. She encourages others in her situation to seek help and heal from their emotional scars. The actress has found joy in her new relationship, and she wants others to experience the same happiness. In conclusion, Valerie Bertinelli has shown that it's never too late to find love and happiness. Despite her previous relationship struggles, she has dared to open up her heart once again, and she is grateful for the opportunity to do so. Her new relationship has brought her joy, and she wants others to experience the same. In early 2024, the actress Valerie Bertinelli embarked on a transformative journey of alcohol abstinence. She decided to participate in the Dry January Challenge, giving up alcohol for the entire month. However, as February approached, she didn't feel the need to return to her old habits. Her temporary break turned into an extended period of sobriety, stretching into March and possibly beyond. For years, Bertinelli viewed alcohol as a way to lift her spirits during challenging times. But after spending time without it, she recognized its impact on her emotional state. Alcohol often acted as a depressant rather than a mood enhancer, leaving her feeling worse in the long run. By acknowledging this fact, she felt empowered to make a change. Since starting her alcohol abstinence journey, Bertinelli has experienced numerous positive effects. Emotionally, she has found herself in a much healthier place, free from the reliance on substances to cope with life's highs and lows. Additionally, her sleep patterns have significantly improved, leading to increased energy levels throughout the day. Overall, she reports feeling happier and more fulfilled, attributing these changes to her decision to quit drinking. The actress admits that she might occasionally indulge in a drink in the future, but she no longer considers it a necessity. Instead, she values the benefits of living an alcohol-free lifestyle and plans to maintain her newfound independence from alcohol. This experience has taught her that true happiness comes from self-awareness and making conscious choices regarding one's mental and physical well-being. Valerie Bertinelli, the beloved actress, was recently seen in high spirits alongside her son Wolfgang and his wife Andrea. She appeared happier than ever, with a bounce in her walk that reflected her joy. This classic actress, known for her roles in hit TV shows like One Day at a Time and Hot in Cleveland, seemed to be relishing the moment, surrounded by her loved ones. Her warm smile and radiant energy were infectious, adding to the happiness of the occasion. Valerie's recent appearances have been a testament to her enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Her ability to connect with audiences and her colleagues has always been one of her greatest strengths, and it was on full display during this joyful gathering. As a talented actress, Valerie has left an indelible mark on the world of television. Her contributions to the industry have been numerous and significant, and she continues to be a beloved figure among fans and peers alike. Despite the many challenges she has faced throughout her career, Valerie has always remained true to herself and her craft. She has never been afraid to take on new roles or to push herself beyond her comfort zone, and this fearlessness has earned her the respect and admiration of countless fans. As she continues to work in the entertainment industry, Valerie remains a shining example of what it means to be a dedicated and passionate artist. Her recent appearances with her son and his wife are just the latest example of her ability to bring joy and happiness to those around her. Valerie's enduring legacy is a testament to her talent, her hard work, and her dedication to her craft. She has inspired countless young actors and actresses to pursue their dreams, and her impact on the world of television will be felt for generations to come. So the next time you see Valerie Bertinelli on screen or in person, take a moment to appreciate the incredible talent and dedication that she brings to everything she does. Whether she's making us laugh on a sitcom or sharing a happy moment with her loved ones, Valerie is a true gift to the world of entertainment.